Uh, we are now going to go to uh, more on this. North Dakota's historic April blizzard that uh, Marissa was just talking about impacted not only the people that live there, but the animals too. So the nearly two feet of snow trapped seven horses in their barn. And this happened in South Hart, North Dakota. So while no horses have died, uh, there is now just a desperate effort to keep them warm, to keep them healthy on this road to recovery. So here to tell us more is the owner of Rock and 33 Performance Horses, Holly Wilson. Holly, thank you for joining us. And just, you know, what a rough road it has been for you. And I still see that snow and wind blowing. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. <laughs> um, all right, so first of all, uh, bring us up to date. What exactly happened to the horses during the blizzard? Uh, and how are they doing now is what I think everybody else wants to know, too. Well, they ended up getting snowed in starting yesterday afternoon. Um, the wind just picked up. Uh, the, the snow was coming down. There was to get to them. I fed them around noon. Um, that morning as well, but then around noon and then the drifts kept getting higher and higher and we just couldn't get to them. We, we tried using the skid steer to get out. Um, we tried using the tractor and they both were getting stuck. And so all I could do was pray and hope that my horses made it through and they've been shivering uncontrollably, uncontrollably for three days. Um, but got them out this morning. So, um, everybody was alive and and well, for the most part, as you can see, they're still they're still covered in snow, but at least I got hay and water to them. And Holly, I'm a horse owner as well. And just seeing the videos that you posted saying, pray for us, I, I can't get to my horses. You know, these are animals that they depend on you. They depend on you for food, for water. Uh, just knowing the misery that they were going through and knowing what they were going through and not being able to physically get to them and touch them and help them. What was that like for you? It had to have been so hard. I was completely helpless. I, I felt I, I didn't know what to do. Um, you know, I've worked my whole entire life for them and I felt like they were falling through my fingertips and there was nothing I could do. And so all we could do was pray. And I had the whole world pray for me and my, my I should say my horses and got to them this morning and they were all happy to see me. <laughs> so, them. Holly, I gotta say, yeah, watching your videos that you posted and shared with all of us and hearing the heartbreak in your voice and also just the fear. I mean, you were genuinely very scared about getting to these horses and you mentioned 10 foot deep snow drifts, right? That were actually blocking the access to get to them, we see images of them covered in snow and ice, and it's just, it is heartbreaking. It is good to hear that they are gonna be okay, right? Um, but how, yeah. I mean, this is a near impossible storm to get through, and a lot of ranchers up against the same things. How do you prepare for something of this magnitude when it comes in? You know, being from North Dakota, we see snow, we see negative temps yearly, uh, but you know, all my life, I've never seen snow this 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 outrageous, I guess. Um, and so we did our best. We secured everything we could possibly secure. You know, we put straw in the barn, as much hay as we could, and just prayed for the best. You know, but I I don't think um, you know my fiance or I ever ever imagined for it to be this bad. Along with the other ranchers, you know, I'm not the only one that's going through this. A lot of them just don't have shelter and they're calving and you know, so, but, and because of the storm and the wind that we had, some of our barns did, the roofs came off and, uh, and the siding came off. And so that was part of why my horses were so full of snow. They, they couldn't really get out of the wind anywhere. And, and the barn that they could get to was completely impassable. So we just, we're, 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 we're blessed and lucky that they, they made it through. And in the photos and in your video, I'm, I'm seeing your little, your mini horse there. And uh, for those unfamiliar with what a mini horse is, think of uh, a horse the size of a Great Dane. So mm -hmm. truly a miniature horse. And you were talking about there, a little Palomino mini it looks like, but you were talking about how your other horses were looking out for the mini and were kind of making a path for the mini. And I was so touched by that in your video. Can you tell us about that and how they really uh, were all, you know, trying to help each other get through this as you couldn't get to them during this time? Yeah, so before the drifts got really big, uh, they were, you know, three, four feet tall. And of course, my quarter horses can jump those, no problem. And poor Izzy, our little mini, she's 32 inches and she was trying to 
much. He'd just fall right into the middle of them. And I was helpless, you know. And my quarter horses seemed like instead of jumping, they just make a path straight through for her. They knew they they were prote- protecting each other and helping each other. They're truly God's greatest creatures. They really are. I know Danielle's are. a huge horse person, and we're both just huge animal people. So it is heartbreaking um, to see what they had to go through and what you had to go through as their protector and someone who cares for them. It's, you know, it's it's just good to hear that. I think hopefully. You guys are on your road to recovery. I know you still have to kind of get through a couple of cold days still ahead, but um, we appreciate you joining us and taking the time, and hopefully you can get somewhere warm, because it is amazing. That snow is still coming down, and that wind's still going. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're going to building, hopefully be building a bigger barn. <laughs> so if we ever have this again, the cows and horses can all get in it. So. You are going to be ready. All right, well, Holly, thank you so much. Owner of Rockin' 33 Performance Horses, this is Holly Wilson. Thanks again for joining us. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.